I hope all is well with you. Before we get into the nitty gritty details of the Mr. Coffee Machine, what I'm gonna do first is that I'm gonna actually give you the recipes in order to make a really good cup of coffee out of the Mr. Coffee Machine because it is really possible, it is. So I'm gonna put it on the screen for the 12 cup and I'm also gonna put it on the screen for the, uh, I think it's five cup for the personal size, okay? So we'll just leave it on the screen for a little bit. I'm gonna put everything in the descriptions below so you can follow it from there. If you really wanna make the best cup of coffee with this machine, stay tuned, okay? So the Mr. Coffee Machine is a very interesting machine because to me, what I classify it is, it's a fast brewing type of machine, meaning that it just brews the coffee extremely fast. There's a couple of drawbacks with that. One of them, which we'll go ahead and talk about right now, is temperature control. The thing about when I was analyzing the Mr. Coffee Machine is that the temperature Temperatures are all over the place. One minute they're 175, sometimes they're 205, then it went back down to 185. So it was very hard for me to decipher what the temperatures were. But the beauty of it is that you don't have to think. You don't have to really worry about that. And when it was time for me to really dial in the coffee, it actually really does work. It does a really good job. I think it rivals a lot of specialty type of automatic drip machines if you know how to use it. So the first things that you do need to take in consideration when using the Mr. Coffee Machine is that the Mr. Coffee Machine works really, really well with dark roast and medium roast coffee, okay? For light roast, it doesn't really work that well. You can actually do a lighter roast of coffee, but the thing about it, since it is a fast drawing brewer, you're gonna have to take consideration that you're not gonna get as much extraction from the brew. So when that does happen, especially with a lighter roast, you're gonna have to grind a lot finer. And when you grind a lot finer, it tends to not get the whole bed of the coffee. It can work, but I don't recommend you go about using the Mr. Coffee Machine in that type of way, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about the actual Mr. Coffee filter. It's a really good filter. There's no real issues with it. I actually was surprised how lighter weight it was compared to all the other specialty type of filters that are out there. So I think that helps in brewing the coffee extremely fast. But again, it's a detriment because when you do that, you're gonna realize that you're actually extracting less coffee. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about grinding the coffee. If you already have grounded coffee already, you can go ahead and use that. And with the ratios that I gave you with the Mr. Coffee Machine, and use those ratios. And to also match your ideal flavor profile, either it being a weaker coffee, a normal type of coffee, or a stronger coffee, that's gonna be up to you. So let's just say you pick one of the ratios and you're wondering like, oh, this is a little too weak for me. You can add another tablespoon. So that's gonna help you out with that particular coffee. Okay, and do make sure that it is between a medium roast or dark roast coffees. So let's talk about a couple of things with the Mr. Coffee Machine that I do think that is extremely important that we realize. As you can see right here in a Mr. Coffee Machine, it has different notches. So those notches are for how much water that you're gonna actually put into the Mr. Coffee. And then from, I think right here, you can see these notches. So you use the carafe to actually measure out your water. So it has two cups, four cups, six cups, eight cups, 10 cups, 12 cups. With the ratio that I did give before, you can actually see between the two, four, and six, the ratios are essentially doubled, but as you go up more into the quantity of the water that you're doing, your brew is not the same. It actually, you're using a little bit less coffee because when you're doing a batch brew, you're actually able to use less coffee and still be able to extract the coffee as much as you can into where it's still very flavorful, balanced, and a tasty cup of coffee. So those are the ways that you go about that in measuring out your water. So here is how you actually measure out your coffee, your grounds, okay? So if you have whole bean coffee and you're trying to make this particular recipe out of the Mr. Coffee Machine, so let's go ahead and start with dark roast. Dark roast, I would say that if you're grinding it on your own, go two to three notches finer from the French press. That's gonna be ideal to get the right extraction for the coffee. If you go too fine, then you're gonna tend to over extract the coffee. If you're doing a medium roast, I would say just keep the grind size a medium size grind. Even like a Hario V60 grind, that really works well with this coffee machine. So let's go ahead and brew a cup and then let's conclude this demonstration of the Mr. Coffee Machine, okay? So would I use the Mr. Coffee Machine in the future after this experiment is done? Heck yeah, I would. I mean, I've been using it the past couple of weeks all the time, at least two to three times a week. 
I brew a cup of coffee from it. I test out different recipes. And it's really cool and refreshing that you can't really get a good cup of coffee out of the Mr. Coffee machine. So yes, I will be using this machine here on out. And if you have any more questions, suggestions, or things that you may have a concern about with using the Mr. Coffee or dialing in your recipe, just give me a holler. Uh, leave comments in the uh, description below or even email me, I'm here. So this coffee that I'm brewing right now with the Mr. Coffee machine is a medium roast. It smells really good right now. I'm not just saying that just to sell the Mr. Coffee machine, how great of a machine it really is, but it smells really good. I know there's other machines that are kind of similar to the Mr coffee machine and there are benefits and drawbacks and all that good stuff with any gear and that's the beauty of this any gear that you do use even the Hario V60 even the April's Brewer even the Aeropress French press there's pros and cons to all of it and once we understand our gear even more so and understand what we're trying to really get out of it we're able to really create something magical out of the machine out of the brew with that being said i think our brew is already done and we're going to go ahead and pour a cup taste it and we're going to conclude this video okay i may make a little mess but i do want to show you show you the bed of the coffee here's the bed of the coffee nice and clean as you can see it's evenly uh dispersed inside the bed looks like brownies so you can put that right there and here's our cup of coffee from the mr coffee machine And I usually don't like drinking my coffee piping hot, but I don't want to keep this video that much longer. And I do want to give you my first impression of this coffee right now as we're here together. It works good. No complaints from it. Some really good cup of coffee. It really is. And again, I'm not just saying that. Why don't you try these recipes out with what I've given you and let me know what you think. I really do think it's a really good machine and I was really shocked how well it really did perform for me. The cool thing is that I pushed myself. I tried to learn as much as I could about this machine. And I'm glad that I'm able to share my findings with you so you can also make a good cup of coffee from the Mr. Coffee machine. The cool thing about this machine, actually, there's a couple of things. One, it's cheap. Um, I think this machine is probably like 30, 40 bucks, about 40 bucks. If you want a smaller one, the personal size, the five cup, that's about 15 to $20. And you can make a good cup of coffee all the time, especially with the ratio that I've given you, the different uh, recipes that I've given you. So remember that when you actually do make your cup of coffee that you follow the guidelines of grind size using a medium roast and a dark roast and staying clear away from the lighter roast and you're able to make some good tasting coffee if you're not a medium roast person or a dark roast person then stay away from the machine probably it's not for you which is fine there's other machines there's other things that you can do in order for you to enjoy your coffee and the beauty of it is that you can actually use specially great coffee out of this machine that's what i've done and i hope that you do too and i wish you the best and if, like i said if there's any comments that you may have anything that you think that i probably missed let me know at the end of the day we learn to work with the things that we have if we're able to create the thing that we set out for then that's the, where the magic is so i hope that you enjoyed this talk to you later bye